Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a young and adventurous dinosaur named Dizzy. Dizzy was a brontosaurus, one of the largest and friendliest dinosaurs in the prehistoric world. He had a long neck and a kind heart, and he loved to explore the world around him. Dizzy lived in a lush and vibrant valley, surrounded by towering trees and sparkling rivers. He spent his days munching on leaves and playing with his dinosaur friends. But Dizzy was always curious about what lay beyond the valley. He often gazed at the distant mountains and wondered what adventures awaited him there. One sunny morning, Dizzy decided it was time to embark on a grand adventure. He bid farewell to his friends and set off toward the mountains. As he journeyed farther from home, the world around him began to change. The trees grew smaller, and the air became cooler. Dizzy's long neck allowed him to see far ahead, and he soon spotted a cave nestled in the side of a mountain. Curiosity peaked. He decided to explore it. Inside the cave, Dizzy discovered a treasure trove of sparkling crystals. They shimmered in all colors of the rainbow, casting beautiful patterns of light on the cave walls. Dizzy was captivated by their beauty and decided to collect some to bring back as gifts for his friends. As he gathered the crystals, Dizzy heard a soft, melodic humming coming from deeper within the cave. Curiosity drove him to follow the sound. The humming led him to a hidden chamber where a small dinosaur with shimmering scales was singing a beautiful song. She was a stegosaurus named Stella, and she had been living in the cave for a long time. Dizzy introduced himself and shared his story of adventure. Stella was intrigued and offered to be his guide in the mountains. She knew the land like the back of her hand and was excited to have a new friend to explore with. Dizzy and Stella ventured deeper into the mountains, encountering all sorts of prehistoric wonders along the way. They saw bubbling geysers that shot water high into the sky and explored dense forests filled with unusual plants. They even crossed paths with a family of triceratops who shared stories of their own adventures. As Dizzy and Stella continued their journey, they faced challenges and obstacles like raging rivers and steep cliffs. But they worked together, using Dizzy's long neck to reach high branches for food and Stella's strong tail to clear paths through the dense undergrowth. They learned from each other and became the best of friends, one day, while exploring a high plateau, they came across a group of pterodactyls. These flying reptiles were in trouble, as their nests were perched precariously on the edge of a cliff, and their eggs were about to fall. Dizzy and Stella didn't hesitate. 
They work together to create a makeshift bridge from sturdy branches, allowing the pterodactyl parents to save their precious eggs. Word of their bravery spread throughout the land, and Dizzy and Stella became heroes among the dinosaurs. They received gratitude and friendship from all the creatures they had helped. Dizzy had found the adventure he had always longed for, and he had found a true friend in Stella. But as the seasons changed, Dizzy began to miss his home in the valley. He realized that while adventures were exciting, there was no place like home. Stella understood and promised to visit him in the valley whenever she could. Dizzy and Stella returned to the valley, their hearts full of stories and memories. They shared their adventures with their friends, and the valley dinosaurs were in awe of the wonders they had seen. Dizzy knew that he could always count on Stella for more adventures whenever the wanderlust struck him. And so, in the land of prehistoric wonders, Dizzy the Brontosaurus and Stella the Stegosaurus continued to explore and learn, reminding everyone that true friendship could be found in the most unexpected places. And they lived happily ever after, in a valley filled with love, laughter, and the promise of endless adventures.